Hey guys, so we're going to take a look at The Amazing Spider-Man on PlayStation 3. So of course this was the movie game for uh, The Amazing Spider-Man film that came out basically at the same time, I think it was back in 2012. And uh, I personally love that movie, everyone that I know really liked that movie. The internet really hates that movie, so uh, I have, have a bit of a different opinion there. But uh, we have this fantastic render of Spider-Man in his costume from that movie, a design which I really enjoyed. We can actually see his web shooter on his wrist there. And uh, he, of course, is preparing to shoot out some web while dashing through the city. So, of course, this was done by Beanox and published by Activision. And uh, Beanox actually made some pretty decent Spider-Man games, this one included. Uh, things like Shattered Dimensions and Edge of Time. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, they, uh, I believe they just moved on to Skylanders, so... It'll be very interesting to see where the next Spider-Man game comes from. Because I, I, I have to imagine that we'll get one sooner or later. But, uh, of course, there's the Amazing Spider-Man logo again on the side. And then, your power, your choices, your playground. I don't really know why they say your choices, because there's absolutely no choice in this game, but... <laughs> anyway. So, of course, we've got some glamour shots there of Spider-Man jumping around the city, beating up some thugs. Uh, there's the Rhino, of course, in the game. And we've just got this great shot of Spidey looking over the city and just attaching to a pole. And that is actually something you can do in the game, you can attach to things like that. So Spidey is back in Manhattan with the return of free-roaming, web-slinging action. So this basically tried to go back to, um, you know, more of a Spider-Man 2 style of gameplay, which was very open world and free-roaming and all that, but also mix it with the level structure of the previous Beanox Spider-Man games, and it had mixed success, to be honest. The game is enjoyable, but uh, definitely <laughs> there's good and bad elements. So on the disc here, it's very basic. We can just see a bit of a web up the top with the Amazing Spider-Man logo. Nothing too exciting. But then, we of course have our manual. And, uh, it's in black and white. And it's about ten pages long. <laughs> so nothing too exciting. we just got controls. You can actually use the PlayStation Move controllers. Uh, if you want to try and web swing, I guess, with them. Which, is, to be fair, is actually a pretty cool idea, but, uh... I don't imagine it would work that well. And I imagine it would get pretty tiring. <laughs> uh, of course, we've got additional controls up there. Main menu, saving the game, cell phone menu. You know, it's not much of a manual. There is one screenshot, but at least it is something. The web brush mechanic, which uh, is actually something that I really enjoyed. A lot of people had problems with that, but uh, I thought it worked quite well. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> not much of a manual, but there you go. So that is your look at the Amazing Spider-Man PS3 game. Uh, as I say, I actually think it's quite an enjoyable one. I think if you enjoyed, you know, Spider-Man 2 or Ultimate Spider-Man on the PlayStation 2, you'd probably get at least a bit of enjoyment out of it. It's very, very cheap to pick up now. So, uh, the main problem is just kind of the enclosed levels. They tend to drag on and none of the story elements are really that inspired. You have actually a bunch of Spider-Man villains but they lack all the personality of the Spider-Man villains because they're just kind of mindless monsters. So it, it kind of... There's a lot of kind of good ideas and good elements to this game, but it really needed a bit... You know, something a bit different to make it stand out amongst all the rest. You know, when you got games like Spider-Man 2, Ultimate Spider-Man, it, it's really got big shoes to fill. But anyway, that is your look, of course, at Amazing Spider-Man on PlayStation 3. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.